Brought up in the suicide slum inner city area of Metropolis, Jefferson Michael Pierce and his sister Connie lost their father, Alvin Lewis Pierce, before Jefferson was four years old, after he tried to expose a scam operation involving the 100 criminal organization. So they had him killed, but staged it as a robbery gone wrong at the convenience store he was working at. So Jefferson later found his father figure in a tailor shop owner named Peter Gamby, who opened his shop underneath their apartment and went on to make Jefferson's mother, Leona Pierce, who was already a teacher at the time, an equal partner in his business, while also helping guide Jefferson, who was a gifted athlete and rising star through school, winning the state football championship with his team, which in turn, he became a three-time World Olympic decathlon gold medal winner. Then after, a dedicated teacher like his mother, after getting his teaching degree from Kent State University, and then went on to teach at New Carthage High School as an English teacher and Carver High School in Brick City as an honors English teacher, where he dated his fellow peer, the beautiful Gail Harris, before transferring close to home to teach at his old high school, Garfield High, as a physical education teacher, while sometimes substituting at Lincoln High, teaching history, which he preferred, as he became the last best hope for successful leadership in urban education reform. Meanwhile, in between time, Jefferson married the lovely Lynn Stewart, who also was a teacher before she became a lawyer. However, unfortunately, she would later divorce him and then further down the line, surprisingly, remarry him while next having a daughter for him named Anessa. Subsequently, she was one of a hand few to uncover his electric abilities and at age 27, Jefferson decided to become the superhero vigilante only known as Black Lightning, wearing a costume and mask that was attached to a wig created by Mr. Gamby to better hide his identity after being inspired by a poem Jefferson wrote when he was 21 years old based on words by Thomas Rudolph. Justice like lightning should ever appear to some men hope and to other men fear. Thereafter, Peter would supply Jefferson with an electromagnetic belt designed by Jefferson himself to better sustain and access his powers. And with the help of his trusty street informer, 2 bits Frank Tanner, he fought against the murderous 100 who had many crime lords that control over 100 urban neighborhoods with fraudulent schemes, drug dealing, and prostitution rings inside countless cities with Metropolis being their most prized acquisition led by the Lieutenant Joey Toledo and the albino gang lord Tobias Well, one of the most evilest men alive, which also caused Black Lightning to be a creature as violent as the criminals he battled after they murdered one of his athletically gifted students, Earl Clifford. Surprisingly, the 100 was sent in their enforcer, an ex-member of the League of Assassins that's also a magician and master archer, Merlin, who single-handedly fought the Justice League to a standstill and now was the one who gave Black Lightning his first defeat before he was inevitably defeated himself, while Toledo being killed in the process, as Black Lightning went on to bust up four of the 100's factories in one week alone, which caught the attention of the media and the authorities, who felt his brutality towards crime violate the laws of justice, and now warranted his arrest for a dozen counts of criminal trespassing, nine counts of willful destruction of property, and 30 counts of assault and battery. Moreover, Black Lightning would go on to rescue Jimmy Olsen from another one of 100's hitmen. The supervillain Ned Cregan, also known as Cyclotron, who once fought Batman and has the ability of Electromagnesium, when suddenly Black Lightning was confronted by Superman, who mistakenly thought Black Lightning was attacking Jimmy Olsen, thus causing a brief scuffle between the two superheroes, which unsurprisingly, Superman would get the upper hand before he too was attacked by Cyclotron who sped up Superman's atomic particles to a million to cause them to explode. Luckily, however, Superman was saved by Black Lightning before that could happen, while eventually defeating Cyclotron. Not long after, the entire council of mob bosses would put a million dollar hit on Black Lightning, which got the attention of the flamboyant, sinister man-stalker called Cyanide, who along with his henchmen, the supervillain duo Still Fitzfinney and his partner kidnapped Mr. Gamby in order to draw Black Lightning out which during the rescue mission, Black Lightning shockingly discovered Mr. Gamby was secretly involved in his father's death so long ago. So Mr. Gamby sacrificed his life trying to intercept a bullet meant for Black Lightning, hoping to redeem himself, which enraged Black Lightning so much witnessing the death of his mentor, he became the embodiment of Lightning, unlocking his full metahuman physiology while no longer needing the assistance of his electromagnetic belt. So Black Lightning went on to take down a dozen of the 100 goons, along with their boss Tobias Well who next was arrested and put behind bars, together with majority of his crime lieutenants. Unsurprisingly, Jefferson's now pregnant wife, 
took his mother and daughter and moved them away to downtown Metropolis to get away from all the crime in the neighborhood after Mr. Gamby's funeral. Shockingly later, Tobias Well would escape custody with the help of more members of the 100, while next holding the police department inspector Mr. Henderson captive up until Black Lightning tracked him down in a warehouse and fought the physically powerful crime lord in a tense battle where he almost lost but managed to pull through and take Wells down and restrain him to once again be handed over to authorities as Black Lightning prior criminal charges were exonerated since he brought down the Metropolis branch of the 100 criminal organization. Furthermore, Black Lightning would take on and take down the international killer known as Annihilus and his robot henchmen after he held hostages and demanded money, release of other terrorist types and transportation to a friendly country. Succeeding this, Black Lightning will battle the Trickster, a supervillain returned to his roots after an embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Flash Barry Allen. Then after, Black Lightning fought Dr. Polaris, one of the Green Lantern's foe, who can manipulate magnesium by using magnetic circuits integrated into his clothing, but needed more stolen electronic parts located in Suicide Slum in order to upgrade so he could finally defeat the Green Lantern. Moreover, a year will go by when Black Lightning confused Oliver Queen, also known as Green Arrow, for a supervillain and got into a brief confrontation before they cleared things up and found out Tobias Well, who was now free but kicked out the 100 organization, was behind the confusion in his quest for revenge. So Black Lightning went on to fight him alone but was eventually captured by Tobias and his goons in the mammoth chocolate factory building that Tobias owns at the edge of the city before the 100 higher ups sent in his squad to eliminate them both after Tobias threatened them with blackmail if they didn't give him 20 million dollars for the exchange of black lightning or else he'll release black lightning and give him complete details of the 100's operation. Subsequently, the dynamic black lightning and the crime king paint Tobias well would temporarily form an alliance to take out the hit squad before black lightning inevitably defeated the backstabbing Tobias well once again while retrieving the documents of the 100 organization's secrets. Succeeding this, Green Arrow will recommend to his team, the Justice League, that they consider nominating Black Lightning as a member. However, the team suggested a secret initiating test first, which Black Lightning will go on to pass with high achievement. Surprisingly and unexpectedly, Black Lightning will go on to decline the offer, preferring to work alone. Meanwhile, Black Lightning will battle and defeat the genius Bernie Bolton, also known as Regulator, who was driven mad by the use of a helmet he built when he used to work at Star Labs to control giant mutated vermins in order to exterminate all the victimizers and those who have oppressed the poor. Furthermore, the Justice League will offer Black Lightning membership on a team once again, and once again, Black Lightning will decline the offer to show the world one man can make a difference. Thereafter, Black Lightning will battle Jacquez, the son of the Haitian high priestess of voodoo, Mama Mumbo, and her men after one of Black Lightning's students was held captive after he vandalized her organic herbal drugstore when his mother died taking Mama Mumbo's medicine potion instead of what doctors prescribed. Nevertheless, Jacquez will be defeated and handed over to authorities for his crimes. As time progressed, Black Lightning will join forces with the Dark Knight detective Batman to become the brave and the bold and stop a series of oil truck hijackings that started in Gotham City and ended in Metropolis while being stored underground in a facility between the two cities by General Hargrave and his small army of men to take control of the Arab oil fields in order to stop the oil producing nation from dictating US policies after the American energy crisis. So after General Hargrave's defeat, Black Lightning took on another vigilante who called himself the Slime Killer with a goal to brutally murder every criminal in the city as he rapidly gained the stature of legend amongst the model citizens of the community and secretly the police who wished him well in his quest to rid the city of lawbreakers. Surprisingly, it was real the Slime Killer was Mr. Davis, the father of one of Black Lightning's students who lost his brother and mother to gun violence two years apart. So after Mr. Davis was arrested, Jefferson would go on to become principal of Garfield High while being in charge of the Thomas Wayne Foundation Arts Grant. In addition, Black Lightning would quit being a superhero out of extreme guilt after a girl named Trina was killed by a stray bullet by a criminal he was trying to stop during a robbery aboard a speeding express train which also caused Black Lightning to psychologically and unknowingly block the access of the use of his own powers. Which, as time progressed, Batman would leave the Justice League to form the Outsiders in Gotham City while convincing Black Lightning along with Gabrielle Doe aka Halo, Brian Markov aka Geoforce, 
The Deadly Samurai, Tatsu, Yamashiro, aka Katana, and Rex Mason, aka Metamorphio, who was the one who came up with the name of the group as Batman's teammates to take down major threats outside the system, to go where the Justice League could not. Meanwhile, later, the school board approved Jefferson's certification to teach in Gotham. Nevertheless, the death of Trina Shelton will constantly haunt Jefferson for months, not wanting to repeat that traumatic event. Ironically, his past would catch up with him when the mother of Trina, Marsha, hired the supervillain group, the Masters of Disaster, to abduct him so she can get justice in his execution. However, she was overwhelmed with guilt when she realized Black Lightning wasn't heartless like she thought, but showed remorse for what had happened. Subsequently, Batman and the rest of the Outsiders would show up to rescue their captured teammate, as Mrs. Shelton went on to sacrifice her life by taking the supervillain Heatstroke's attack that was meant for Black Lightning, while forgiving him after for what had happened to her daughter. So as time progressed, with Black Lightning becoming second in command of the team, the team would shockingly disband after Batman felt it was becoming more like the Justice League by wanting to focus on international crises rather than localized ones. Succeeding this, Black Lightning, now updated with a new costume, will head to the gritty area devoid of hope known as Brick City to clean up the town of criminal menaces and finally give the citizens there a guiding light. Surprisingly after, Black Lightning changed his costume once again would agree to serve as a reserve member of the Justice League as he, along with 34 other reserves, aided the main members take down the powerful android known as Amazo. Moving on in an alternative events, Lex Luthor would be elected as the 43rd president of the United States of America while assembling a new administration to help run the country, appointing Jefferson as Secretary of Education, which Jefferson would use that opportunity to also keep a close eye on Luthor while simultaneously retiring as a superhero. Furthermore, in other developing news, Roy Harper, also known as Arsenal, would revise and form a new version of the Outsiders, with the now 22-year-old Anessa Pierce as a member, who was wearing a blonde wig to hide her identity, like her father used to when he wore a fake afro, which subsequently, her father wouldn't like the idea, but knew she had the ability to alter her body's density without affecting her size since the age of 12. However, he never anticipated she would follow in his footsteps, to actually use that power to become a superhero calling herself Thunder. While thereafter, Jefferson will find out his buddy Green Arrow was now dating his niece, Joanna Pierce, that also was a lawyer, who he probably introduced to him after Green Arrow needed a lawyer to look into a criminal case for him. Unfortunately after, she would be murdered for that very same thing by the hired mercenary named Dracon, after Joanna discovered documents for Green Arrow that revealed Dracon's employer, CEO Martin H. Summers, controlled the pharmaceutical company Elevast Corporation in Africa that poisoned and killed thousands of people with his drugs, which the news of his niece's death devastated Jefferson, who would later take her body back to her hometown of Chicago to be buried. Afterwards, Jefferson would be summoned to the Oval Office by the new U.S. President, Pete Ross, in order to resign as Secretary of Education after two years in service for his supposed involvement of the murder of the CEO, while also secretly being a superhero vigilante, which he was obliged to, even though he was being framed. Succeeding this, Jefferson would contact the Justice Society of America to enlist his youngest 16-year-old daughter, Jennifer Pierce, onto their team after she had trouble controlling her powers being that she could become a sentient lightning. Furthermore, Black Lightning will later team up with Green Arrow to battle and defeat Dr. Crystal Frost, also known as Killer Frost, and Evan McCullen, also known as Mirror Master, in an intense battle. What's more, Black Lightning will next team up with his old high school football teammate, Daniel Cassidy, also known as Blue Devil, who wears a powerful magic techno-organic exoskeleton suit to go after and defeat Black Lightning's arch nemesis Tobias Well in Los Angeles after Tobias was involved in the murder of Daniel's grandfather along with supplying the streets of LA with a deadly new drug. Now that Tobias was behind bars, time will progress when Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman start voting for members on the main roster including themselves to be on a new iteration of the Justice League with Black Lightning being recommended which he will later agree to. While not long thereafter, Black Lightning will go on to elect Batman as a main member since he never agreed to join the league in the first place and probably wouldn't if it was anyone other than Jefferson who asked him. That being said, the number one teacher in the country helping transform decaying school districts in Gotham, Chicago, Suicide Slum, and Brick City into some of the finest in the nation is Jefferson Pierce, also known as DC Comics Black Lightning.